welcome to our video presentation of the IBM Packaging Utility. In this video, we're going to copy packages to a repository on Linux. So, I need to start by opening a terminal. In this demonstration, I'm going to be signing in as root, although that's not strictly required if your target repository on Linux is not uh, owned by root then you can copy files without signing in as root. I navigate to the uh, packaging utility directory and I start the packaging utility with the IBM PU command. Now the IBM packaging utility works in cooperation with the IBM installation manager. But here under preferences you won't find a repository. It's not like the installation manager. Rather you identify your repositories after you select copy packages. The repositories that you're copying from are the source repository. So we'll open up a repository and unlike the IBM installation manager when you click browse it ignores what you've typed in and you have to navigate from the packaging utility directory to your source repository. Now the packaging utility is nice in that it can actually copy multiple products in one pass. And it's also nice because if there are if multiple products have exactly the same files, the packaging utility puts only the one file, one copy of the file into a repository. We're looking for the disk tag.inf, which identifies this as a repository. This is just like the IBM installation manager. So with the OK button, I'll add that repository as a source, and it'll add it to the list. And in the repository, we're expecting, yes, IBM packaging utility. And intentionally, I put in 1.4.1. 1. 4, 4. 1. Uh, 1.4.1 I downloaded from the IBM website and unzipped the file so that I could demonstrate the check for updates button. Check for updates enables us to get the latest version of a product uh, from the internet without having to download another zip file. So 1.4.2 is the one I actually want to copy to the repository to make 1.4.2 available to other members of my team. I click Next. Now even though I'm not installing the software, I do have to go through the I Accept option and click Next on the license page. Now as far as a destination repository, the products that I have selected will be copied to a destination. I click Browse and have to navigate from the PU directory to uh, either an empty directory or an ex uh, directory that, uh, that is a repository that I've already created with the packaging utility. The repository.xml file marks this as a repository. Okay, so that's my repository. It's slash store slash IBM repo, and I'll click the next button. On the summary page, I confirm that yes, this is what I really want to copy to my repository, and I press the copy button. And it goes about copying the content for me. With the packaging utility, you can copy from one repository to another very quickly and create just, just the products that you need for your team. So the copy operation was successful, and I click the Finish button. So that is our demonstration of the IBM Packaging Utility. This is part of the enterprise tools from uh, IBM Rational, and I highly recommend understanding how Packaging Utility works, even if you work on a team of just one.
Thanks for watching.